Hi, I'm Elke Holland from Perspective Society Recruitment and I'm here with David Cooper from Bluefinity. David, thank you for joining me. Nice to be here. Excellent. Today we're going to talk about how to use MV.net um, to generate Visual Studio Code, is that right? That's correct, we are, yes. Right, good. Now, code generation is nothing really new in the multi-value world, now is it? It's not, no. If you look back to the 1980s, 1990s, many of the the 3GL and 4GL systems based on multi-value databases utilise code generation quite heavily mm. in order to produce uh, application content from, from data definitions. Okay, so which Blueffinity products actually generate code and what sort of code is produced? So MV.net, um, our flagship product, has got two or three different places where we utilise Visual Studio code generation. The first one is the entity modelling tool solution objects within the product and entity modeling just very briefly is a process where you can describe the content of your database with a series of classes or objects called entities and the the entity modeling tool has got a code generator built into it so that you can take the content of your database uh, as, as your entity model mm. and generate VB or C sharp source code that represents that entity model content. Uh, we see sometimes maybe um, 30, 40, 50,000 lines of code being produced from those entity model descriptions. So that clearly is a, a lot of time saved. What we also do is generate entire Visual Studio solutions. An example of that would be in our XAML wizard utility that allows you to take your entity model and generate an entire Silverlight application from that entity model. We've also got um, our REST wizard uh, tool which takes all or part of your entity model and creates a Visual Studio solution that is a fully working RESTful service. Okay. So we use it in lots of different places and it's a really important process for us. Okay, so how is the code regener how does, how does it handle code regeneration and customization? Yeah, it's a good question because of course with a code generator mm. it's it, it's not only important to make sure that the code that it produces is accurate and correct. You also have to um, support a mechanism so that developers can customize and add to that generated code, mm. uh, but without losing all those customizations when the next time they run the generator, because of course this is a cyclic process. Your entity model changes and adapts, you regenerate the code, and, and it goes around that loop lots and lots of times, typically. So what we make use of within the, the entity model code generator is a thing called .NET Partial Classes. Uh, partial classes is uh, a well-known term. It basically allows you to have the source code for a single class in more than one text file. So the way we do it is that we have one text file that's in effect owned by the code generator. So that can be generated over and over again. And associated with that is another text file which holds all the code containing the customizations that the developer wants to add new properties or methods to the classes. Um, what um, what we're trying to do with our code generator technology within the product is is give the developer the best of both worlds. So the ability to let the code generators do all the heavy lifting for them. Mm. But ultimately, what's happening is that we're generating Visual Studio content, and that means that developers when they utilize the generated code, are working within Visual Studio, which is a massive development environment. So they're not restricted in, in any way in terms of what they can do, but they have a whole load of work done automatically for them. Okay, and what's in the future that you can see? Well, you know, code generation is a really important part of MV.NET, and so we're always looking at ways of improving the speed of code generation, but also, um, broadening out the range of runtime environments that the generated code can, can run in. And one area we're working on at the moment is to 
with a RESTful service to not only generate the Visual Studio code that, that implements the RESTful service, but also generate the code that you need to have on the client side that consumes that, that RESTful service. Okay. And um, we're also looking at um, the possibility of generating more actual application content from the Entity model as well in the, in the new Windows 8 and other environments coming out. Interesting times ahead. They are. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was David Cooper from Bluefinity on MV.net and code generation.